Hi guys, so in today's video, I thought I would switch it up a little bit. I kind of wanted to do something different and fun that I've never heard of that I kind of came up with on my own. This video is going to be a 10 random facts about me video. I don't know if other people have done this, but I've tried to search it on YouTube. Maybe some people have, but I just wanted to keep it to 10 random facts. I hope you guys enjoy just so you guys could learn a little bit more about me. I thought the get to know me video was pretty good, the get to know me tag. So I thought this would be kind of fun and I thought you guys would just learn, you know, random little facts about me. So if you guys want to, learn them then keep watching this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like it and if you want me to try more random weird videos let me know because i am down so yeah let's just get straight into it make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and join the rose fam like this video click that bell button so you always know when i'm posting a new video and yeah let's just get straight on into it so number one, I have them on my phone in a note. <clears throat> number one, if I haven't already told you guys, I feel like I have, but hot sauce is my shit. Like hot sauce is my favorite thing on this entire earth. If I didn't have hot sauce, I honestly don't know what I would do. I literally put it on almost everything I eat. I don't know. It's just like if I don't have that taste in my mouth, then the food isn't as good. So I always need hot sauce. We have about 10 different hot sauces in my house, but if if we're you know going out to a restaurant i always ask if they have hot sauce it is a must if you guys haven't tried it if you're too scared about the spiciness there's always hot sauces out there that aren't as spicy but i just love that spice that kick and i literally put it on everything like i put that shit on everything like i really do though number two number two is it's not like actually the truth but i just say it as a joke the bags under my eyes are more prominent than most humans i just feel like when i wake up in the morning even if i put on concealer i still see the bags and like i don't know about you guys if you struggle with that but it's so frustrating i don't know i just feel like my mom gave me bad jeans and i just have like big bags i mean it's covered up right now but you can see like you can see those little holes in my skin but it's okay at least we have concealer and you know that kind of saves the day if i didn't have concealer like whoa i would look like a pale ghost coming for you every day so i'm glad that concealer exists number three is that i am considered a triple threat i can sing act and dance i kind of grew up with being a theater kid i was always obsessed with being in the plays in the school plays and the musicals i i just like loved it so much and i've kind of strayed away from it a little because i've been focusing on advertising and pr at my school college but when i first actually applied to college i was applying for those theater programs so the serious ones where you have to uh, audition and apply into it and i didn't really find one that was a good fit for me so i went to university of rhode island and you know kind of figured out that i was going to be a communications major but yeah, I do love to sing, act, and dance. Acting is my number one strong suit, then um, singing and then dancing. But I also wanna try to find a way to get back into acting. I really, really miss it. And I think it's not something that I should just let go of just because I didn't get into those programs. I think it's still important to continue the things that I'm passionate about. So I'm still looking into that. If you guys know of any like theater groups in New York City or anything like that, I am down, let me know because I'm always looking for you know just something to continue what i'm interested in number four is that i have a big birthmark on my left hip i'm not gonna show you guys right now but yeah i think you've seen it i honestly kind of like it i think it's cute it adds a little uniqueness to me and yeah i think it's adorable honestly so yeah if any of you have big birthmarks don't be ashamed of them they are cute and you know anyone should love that if they don't then goodbye number five for the random fact is that <clears throat> i'm very particular about when i'm heating up my food if it's you know you get takeout 
or you know you're getting delivery and you're too lazy or even if you're just heating up leftovers i only like my food steaming steaming hot like if it is the tiniest bit cold i won't enjoy it as much it sounds kind of weird um but yeah that's just how i like it so when we heat up pizza if we we get indian food and it comes cold usually our indian food comes super hot but i just like food that is meant to be hot extremely hot and I don't care if it has to take time to cool down. I just like it hot, like hot, 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 hot. The food needs to be hot if you want me to enjoy it. And I don't mean to like offend people when I like put it in the microwave, but like it's just something that I need to enjoy the food. So I don't know. If it's supposed to be eating cold, then that's fine. But if it's not, then that shit better be hot. Number six is that I am super duper flexible. I'm very proud of this and I'm not gonna like start going into splits right now with you guys, but I have always been flexible my whole life. I think it's just genetics and you know, my mom's flexible, I'm flexible. I can do a split this way, this way, and I stretch almost every day just to keep my flexibility up. I find that if like you don't continue to stretch then you'll lose that flexibility over time and as you age so just always stretching I stretch after my workouts I have like a long stretch session and it just feels really good and like my muscles are like feel like they start to relax so it's a really good feeling I suggest all of you stretch even if you aren't flexible but yeah I am very flexible you know in all those gym classes over the years like in school people will be like whoa Rose how do you do that but it's just like it just comes so naturally Naturally, it's not even something that like I have to try to do you know when you're like standing and you bend over to touch your toes easily my hands touch the ground I don't know that's just me number seven is that my arms are extra long and that's like actually true they are very long I came up with this fact because at sleepaway camp I would go there and you know all the counselors would give me a hard time and they'd be like rose your shorts are too short they have to be at arm's length which means that when you put your arm down by your side wherever your fingers hit is where your shorts have to be and my arms are extra long they're like hit, almost hit my knees so i was the only one that people would be like rose your shorts are too short you need to change it's inappropriate and i honestly just felt targeted because i was like it's not fair like my friend is wearing shorts that literally cut off half on her ass and then I have to wear shorts that are down to my knees so I would just you know I wouldn't really like bother I wouldn't change my clothes I didn't have shorts that went down to my knees like no I always dealt with that and like just people saying that you know everything was inappropriate but it was really just my arms being too long and it's like honestly annoying you know just long arm girl problems if any of you out there have long arms I feel you I know the struggle and yeah number eight my tongue is like so absorbent and like whatever i eat it just absorbs it not gives off like this bad stench when i have onions whoa you need to stay clear of me like it literally just radiates out and i can't help it literally can i just feel like my tongue absorbs the flavor more than other people just anything that's like potent smelling it's like extra potent on my tongue i don't know why i really don't know but that's just a random fact about me if you guys want to know <sighs> number nine is a frustrating fact but it happens all the time that whenever i sneeze it sounds like a cough so i sneeze and no one says bless you no one's like oh god bless you because they think i coughed and then i'm just waiting around you know waiting for someone to be like oh Oh, bless you and nope you know it's just like I'm just the lonely one waiting here and it's really frustrating kind of annoying not like it's a big deal that someone says bless you but it's just a nice thing and I just you know struggle on the daily it really does sound like a cough you would probably think it's a cough too 10 that I fall asleep super easily like I am someone that can just fall asleep within literally five seconds of laying down it's not hard for me at all like I don't even have to think about it try struggle like it's just so easy for me but I am a light sleeper and you know kind of it's kind of weird because like the smallest little thing will wake me up but I can fall asleep really easily but once I'm woken up it's kind of harder me 
harder for me to fall back asleep. Those were the 10 random facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun for me to film and just fun for me to share a little bit more about me with you guys. So let me know if you liked it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below and I will catch you guys in my next video.